listen and see you're just happy. You know, so people are listening, man. But uh, thank you for coming in. Yeah, man. You have a lot of people, you know, because um, as I was going to state. Thank you for listening to WKSG 89.5 FM. That was Dr. Daryl Talbert from El Gerard Ministries. He is on every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now we're going to go ahead and get back to the music. Amen. Yeah, I told him, man, I could do it in 15 minutes. I ain't no big deal. <laughs> 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 but the reason why I had to go do that is because I couldn't do a show. I could preach. I was thinking about this teaching. You know, I do my five minute service. Right. But then I said, why can I do a show? Because you cannot interview nobody in that length of time. And I want this to be a show with all different topics. Because I'm going to bring in job related stuff and all of that. But these women here, I love y'all. Y'all great. Oh, you too. I Same really to you guys. No, thank you guys yeah. for coming. Great. Great. Yeah. I um I think they need to hear it because just like today when we were about we went to go get gas because we're ice crunchers mm -hmm. so we went to the gas store to go get ice. Deep. Yes, it's the low end. for me it's the low iron stuff. I'm anemic and I don't like the iron pills. <laughs> and for me I'm just anemic. You know we met like a young guy who said he's he did three years and he was just like standing there. Like in front of the gas station. So it's like it's things that they need to know, you know, because a lot of people are like, okay, so what do I do? I go back to mama house, now what? Right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but you that, know, we're inviting y'all to come to the end of the to the They're going to be out of town. Oh, out of town. Yeah. Oh, when is it? Okay. When is it? It was on the, the July the 30th. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is it in the morning? She has all the, the calendar. Afternoon. afternoon. Okay, it's a possibility. It might be cutting the close, but we have something in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But give us some information and we'll see. Okay. Again. Yeah, because it depends. Because she do all the calendar stuff. So. Doing it for a minute now, but great show, man. People's help, you know, because so many ex-convicts. Uh, when I come next time, I'm gonna have to test the people that reoffend, like eighty-five percent. Yes. Yeah. What about the you know that's what they're 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 They'll be back within three true. years. What? And that's true. But that's true. That's true. There's no lie. I'm going to tell you this. 85%. Story. When I got out, I had um seven years probation with a suspended 10 year sentence. I'm going to talk about the legal sentence. I got a legal sentence. Right. Uh, when I went to probation office, she told me, she said, um, they already do three years. I'll let you off. Do the half of it. Right. Well, in the three years, I did the half. And then when I did the half, she called me in the office. She said, I'm going to be honest with you. She said, um, I never, the only reason why I offered you this, because I didn't think you was going to do three years. Wow. That's all reason you said. Yeah, I every, told The me. average offender gets out and offended six months. Mm -hmm. She said, what made me think that you was different from anybody mm -hmm. else? She said, that's the only reason why I put it on the table, because I didn't think I would have to fulfill it. Wow. She said, but since I put it out there, I'm going to put it in, and that's how I got out. But she didn't think I was going to do it. And wow. then I met that woman, I ran across her. After I got out of probation, ran across like two or three years later. You know what she told me? She said, I still run your name through the computer. What? Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, she just cannot believe it. Right. She said, Daryl, you will believe how many people come in here talking the Bible, mm. talking about God. That's right. And in six months, they'll feel mm. So why would I think that you was in any different? different? And that's wow. sad. And then that's sad because people have painted that picture. Yeah. So now these people don't trust nobody. Exactly. Right? See? Well, then, then and then, see, then a lot of these guys, they, mm -hmm. they, the devil got them believing just what those people say. Mm -hmm. They say you, you, when you get out, you gonna go back, be back in three years. They believe that. Right. Like, when I got out, I had ten years probation. But guess what? Mine was a little different from Daryl. I did three years, and they terminated my probation. Oh wow! I owed them fifteen hundred dollars for restitution, and they don't take you off of probation yeah, if you owe money. money. Right. But right. every time I went to oh. pay the money. Something told me, I know what it was, the Spirit of God said, don't pay it. Mm -hmm. And then I went to my probation office that, that day and he told me, say, uh, what you want me to do? I said, I want you to tell the people to take me off of this stuff. And he took it, they went to, to Tallahassee yeah, and he told me, say, uh, come back. He called me He called me on the phone and said, Joe Sell, stop by my office, I got something for you. I went by his office, he said, they determinated your probation. Oh, and wow. they determinated your restitution for $1,500. That's yeah. awesome. So, God is good. Wow. Yeah.
But see, they use me, the probation people, they use me to come in and talk to the youth right. and stuff. But that's good. So yeah. you can help someone else. Right, that's right. awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about that's employment? Good. Right. Are they, are they, are they hard to get, they hard to get employment? Yeah, they hard to get employment. Is that right? Yeah. If you're ex-con, you know, special sex offenders, mm-hmm. you know, they oh, real, yeah. it's real hard for those, those guys to get up, you know. That's why you got right. to really trust God in this thing. You know, you go get a pro, uh, uh, fill out the application, they tell you, well, I give you a call, but when you leave, what they do, they put your application in the threader. Right. And they never call um, he, you go to about 10 different places and don't, don't get a job, what do you think a person is going to do? There, because um, I worked in HR for years. There, There is a program Yo, because um, um, I brought it to a company I work for where we bond them. Like an ex, ex-convict would come into work and we'll, we'll, it'll be under a bond. The government will bond him that say, hey, if anything happened, we're going to pay you this much. And so for that, a company I work for, we hired a lot of people who were former convicts right. and they did very well because we were we're in the moving brokerage business so I'm talking about my guys made four or five thousand a week right. legally right. but they had the opportunity because I was able to bond them right I was able to give that get them right. a, yeah, then God, he blessed me since I've been out with this company the signature brand the resource center and uh, I was like the head the, head, the leader the mm-hmm. leader man then I would hire I would hire all the guys to tell you know, let them know this yes, guy here, right. hide this guy no, here, and I always would hide guy that just got out of prison, to get him a job. There you go. But uh, this year I didn't work for him, but I, I got another job making way more money. Mm-hmm. Now I'm being all this, good. You know, I'm all over now. Now good. I'm in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Mm-hmm. You know, I come home on the weekend. I work. You do driving. Okay. No, I, uh, what, what you do? Do? I paint. Oh, that's awesome. I paint. You know, I work for this bank. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I got, yeah. Yeah. No. If you, if you have, it's important. When I was a, uh, uh, a high picture of traffic defender. Yeah. But I got out. I had to go to DUI school. You know, I had to pay no money, but I got my driving license back. You might you might go through you know spend some money and go to school but you can get your driver's license back. Yeah. But I tell you I'm just enjoying life. All right, man. That's good. Yeah. I'm that's good. Life. I'm yeah. Life. Yeah. I think that's I know you don't have to look over your no, shoulders. Right, right. right yeah. <laughs> it's true you don't have to look over your yeah. shoulders. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm good on far too. This course was you know when you get out you all this probation. You can't get a job because you got all this probation. You don't have family back here. You don't have community back here. And what do you do? Go back to your normal self? Or do you, uh, how do you overcome that obstacle there? So I'm going to deal with that on part right. two, you know. So that's how we we'll overcome that obstacle. What a great show. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. It was yeah. awesome. I appreciate that. Y'all keep right. Let me show you. You know I'm doing the. <laughs> 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 and that's